we have um, three tier ones that we're working with. Uh, we're not on any tier one exchanges right now. We've been mm -hmm. as high as coin number 20. We dropped a little bit. We're correcting a little. Uh, we're probably like 30 or 31 right now on coin market cap, but um, that's with no tier ones. What's up, Crypto Crew, and welcome back. Or if this is your first time, I'm Captain Crypto Might, actively escaping the matrix, scoping out the crypto ocean. So if you like your odds, get on the boat, stay up to date, thumbs up, and join the hunt. Into the boat! Crypto Crew, one of the reasons my conviction for Casper is so high is because of the team that has developed and is still developing Casper. And with Casper's unique ability to solve the trilemma, being secure, scalable, while being fully decentralized, in essence, Casper is the only project on the entire crypto ocean that can effectively be used as a form of money. Therefore, Casper is digital silver. No dough. No show. Now, listen to what Chris Wolf, aka Wolfie, the director of business development at Casper, had to say about Casper being digital silver when he joined the Milk Road Show. Shout out to the Milk Road Show. The founder is a fantastic gentleman named uh, Jonathan Sampolinski. Uh, he first became intrigued with blockchain and Bitcoin in 2012, but he wondered to himself, how come it takes so long? If it's internet money, why does it take 10 or 20 or 30 minutes to send this magic internet money? You know, when I, I go to Google, it's instant. When I go to Netflix, it's instant, but it's internet money and, and it takes half an hour. That's kind of silly. So he became kind of like obsessed with speeding up blockchain. So his first try at that was called Ghost Protocol, which he wrote. And uh, Vitalik from Ethereum picked up that technology and used it in the framework in 2013 for Ethereum. So consensus um, runs on these two big algorithms. One of them is this LMD Ghost Fork Choice Rule, which is an adaptation of um, this ghost algorithm that was invented by um, Jonathan Sampolinski in 2013 to a proof of stake context. And the main goal of LMD Ghost is to be able to handle um, uh, network latency be able to handle fast messages that enabled uh bitcoin as a 10 minute block time and ethereum was able to go all the way down to 12 seconds so that things happen a lot faster on ethereum because of jonathan's first uh protocol he wrote since then he's written successively more perfected protocols uh the latest and greatest of his is called ghost dag and that's what Caspa is founded on, which is a uh, very high speed. We have one second block time. So that's 600 times faster than Bitcoin. So everything else is very similar to Bitcoin. It's a fair launch. There's no company behind it. Mm -hmm. It's run by miners. Uh, the largest Bitcoin miner in the world also mines Caspa. That's the only, this is the second coin they ever mined in 14 years. It's called Marathon Digital. So we feel like we're following in the footsteps of good old uh, granddaddy digital gold pretty well here. Even though it's cliche to, uh, you know, every coin in the world in the last 14 years says the new Bitcoin, the faster Bitcoin, blah, blah, blah. But in this case of Caspa, I believe it, it's truly the next logical descendant of, you know, to be a digital silver compared to a digital gold. You use the term digital silver to describe Caspa, which is a term that I've seen a lot and often heard. Bitcoin is digital gold. Why is Caspa digital silver? Litecoin was kind of supposed to be the digital silver, but it doesn't have anything really uh, breakthrough technology wise. And it, it's pretty old. It's also a blockchain. Caspa uh, actually means in Aramaic uh, silver or currency. Aramaic super old from like the Old Testament. So, you know, they created it to, to flow more, you know, historically, like gold was really the store of value. You hide it in the backyard or in the bank or whatever. And then to buy stuff at the market or, or trade, uh, you would use silver. So Caspa has a larger max supply than, than Bitcoin. And we have uh, about 25 billion coins out now and the cap is 28 billion. So it's, it's about 85 percent mined right now. So there's only a little bit of um, inflationary stage left. And also with the rapid uh, confirmation time, like if I send you Casper right now, you get it in one second, and then you can send it to someone else in 10 seconds. And we have mm -hmm. a high speed test net that's been running for about nine months now, where it's even 10 times faster than than that. So we have 10 blocks per second running uh, flawlessly for about nine months. And in about two or three months, we're going to have a, a speed upgrade on the main network. And we're going to have 100 millisecond block time, which is 10 blocks per 
per second. So that's that's four times faster than Solana. That'll be the fastest network in the world, hands down. So with the digital silver reference, it's not that when I think about silver, I think about it as a commodity and as a store of value. That's not the reference that you're going to for with Caspa. It's not the Caspa is a store of value trying to compete with Bitcoin as a store of value. It's more that Caspa is building a blockchain to enable fast transactions, whether that be moving money or whatever you might be wanting to do on chain. Sure. I mean, to some extent, uh, it, it would, of course, be a you know a store of value. If you look at um, uh, Grayscale's uh, assets under consideration in currencies, uh, the only one under consideration right now is Caspa. So you have some of the household names from, from the teens. You know, you have Bitcoin, uh, BCH or BSV, one of those two, Bitcoin Cash or whatever. A few of the older blockchain coins. And then the only one that's uh, under consideration right now is, is Caspa. So store of value would be part of it, but the silver is a little more flowing and a little more liquid and the, the ease and the divisibility of it, you know, to pay for co- a cup of coffee or, or a cheeseburger with Bitcoin, you know, even even if it was instant, it, you would need a calculator like 0. 0.00, like how many Satoshis is a cheeseburger? I have no idea. But, you know, Caspa is like 10 cents right now. So, you know, cheeseburgers, five bucks, you know, you just do uh, 500 coins. It's pretty easy. This is a great a debate that is happening right now as to what will be the payment method on chain. Where are you guys at right now in terms of adoption and use? How how much usage is there on chain? Can you give us any metrics or any numbers? Paint the picture for um, how you could how you can grow and what needs to happen in order for Caspa to achieve that breakout and those network effects that we've seen from some of the other chains. We have several hundred thousand uh, active. Uh, wallets at the moment. Uh, we have some very high volume uh, going on. I think I think we did 15 or 17 million transactions. Uh, we settled in a 24 hours. We had like a uh, a minting process where a, a new token was launched and and people were minting. They were paying a little bit of Caspa and and generating tokens. It was a world record for a proof of work uh, network. So we're gonna 10x our uh, throughput capacity. Like if you think of transactions in Bitcoin, if if I send you Bitcoin that that transaction is waiting. It's like waiting for the next block at the bus stop for 10 minutes. And then when Mm -hmm. the bus comes, the next block, those transactions that are waiting, get on the bus and it's a done deal. So with Caspa, we have the one second block time and we have more than one block at a time. So it's like every every two or three seconds, you know, three or four Ubers pull up. The distributed ledger happens much more rapidly and there's multiple carriers coming all the time. Instead of just one big bus coming every 10 minutes, you have you have just little drivers coming and taking 200 250 transactions every second uh, and that's going to 10x to having 10 come every second we have um three tier ones that we're working with uh we're not on any tier one exchanges right now we've been mm-hmm. as high as coin number 20 we dropped a little bit we're correcting a little uh, we're probably like 30 or 31 right now on coin market cap but um that's with no tier ones so uh, we're working with tier ones. We have the um, the actual KRC20, the meme coin that Casplex is being integrated into multiple uh, exchanges so that people can trade the token. So lots of g- great adoption things are, are happening. And as I had mentioned, uh, Grayscale is uh, entertaining the possibility of uh, adding us to their repertoire. So that's super cool to get some institutional juice going. Anything on the roadmap that you think uh is exciting that you're looking forward to uh, that our audience should know about? Sure. Well, uh, I had mentioned the 10 blocks per second. So that's called the the crescendo fork. Uh, so that's going to be coming, uh, I would say, uh, maybe three to four months. In Q1 of 2025, we're going to become the fastest uh, network in the world. We have the super duper smart contracts coming out. That'll take a little while. It's going to take months and months, but uh, they're well beyond the planning phase. Um, then we have something else I'm not going to even go into, but it's called DAG Night. Ghost DAG is what we're on right now. That's our protocol for the whole, the entire three years almost that we've been a main network. DAG Night's coming um, probably by around spring next year. And then uh, we have all these tier ones that uh, have to enable trading. So that's kind of neat. The main idea for me with Caspa is like, in the old days, if supposing you buy like a gold coin from 1860 and it's pretty neat, you know, it's $2,000, it's $3,000. 
you put it in the safe and in 10 years you open the safe it's it's never going to be anything except a gold coin the neat thing for me with caspa is the, the caspa i have today and the caspa i i mined when it first started the network started three years ago it's become new things even since since then you know and and it's not done evolving it's it's not static it's a dynamic asset you know it's it's learning new tricks. It's uh, it's making new friends, and um, its capabilities are gonna be world breakthrough things that I've never seen before in crypto. And and it's all on paper already proven. Like it's not like it would be neat if we could make it do this stuff. We're talking about Harvard research people that already mathematically proved these things on paper. You know, with computer science and math. Uh, so it's a done deal. We just have to make it be realized in in software. And so, crypto crew, as Wolfie mentioned. There's a lot in the pipeline for Caspa in 2025 and even in 2024. More on Caspa and the bull run in videos to come. Stick around. Fix your mind before you get to the grind. And with that said, let's continue to escape the matrix. Let's continue to be on the lookout for the next big thing here on the crypto ocean. Growing grace and let's make some crypto waves. Say I.